we are ending a cycle, but it's too good and I don't know if I can let go. Okay, we're trying. Sad, just trying to let go of a situation that is toxic, that is unhealthy, but you are having a hard time dealing with it. Because you do feel that, of course, emotions are involved, right? Um, This person has been um really tickling your fancy, if I may say so. Like, you really like them, like, in a... In a lusty way, can be. Um, it's like very, very passionate. Like, I mean, like you guys make amazing connections. So the chemistry is out of this world. And you're having a hard time actually trying to let go of that. Because it's like, oh no, like this is going to be bad news again. I don't want to be there, Sal. Please help. Okay. So let's see what's the sad is going. You could be addicted to a connection with a Capricorn or a Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay. Oh, um, visit our website, eTreeLove.me, our Zodiac Ring collection. I stack it. It's available now. That's a Zodiac Ring, our pinky ring. You can check it out, okay? Um, death card, Sag. Death card is the part where I'm done. I want things to change. I want things to be healthy in my life because it's ending in a new beginning. So... The death is a big transformation. Like you're going to, like shedding of old skin. Think of it that way. And then normally there's a rose in another deck. But this one, oh, there's the rose. There you go. That's a symbol of the new beginning, the new life that you are seeing yourself in. Love it. Now, with the devil card over here, okay, this is the part where in your situation, it's like, what can I do? Like, I, I know it's bad. But it's so good. It's so good. You know, it's so bad, but it's so good, right? So this is the this card right here. Okay. The way that you see this, this is two people who are um like magnetically attracted to each other, unable actually to to see beyond um the the toxicity. It's like you're blinded by love or you're blinded by lust, lust, the knight of cups, and you're just going with it. So you're in between right now, um, Sag, to either let go of the person, okay? But I feel like you can't. Okay, I'm just going to remove my citrine ring. Okay, either you can't, okay? Let me see. And it's an ongoing cycle over here between you and your person. The devil, of course, is an argument, okay? When I say argument, like toxic arguments. Nine of Cups, intoxicated, drunk in love. Three of Cups over here showing that um, you feel like the good outweighs the bad. Okay. So you're. 30 days it took me. I was down to zero. I have nothing. But then I work with a Piao and then I saw results. It has increased my business, my focus, and it has removed a lot of negativity in my life. And I needed that, especially like I'm coming from nothing. Now, I mean, look at it. I have the store from nothing. Four years running now. It's doing. Staying. Because you're happy. Like you, it does bring you some sort of joy. Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. You know, like if it's just a static, then you're definitely going for it with a devil card. Like this person is just hot. I can't tell. I can't. Um, like you're fixated on that. This is obsessive um energy about someone's uh, let's just say physical uh you know, looks. The three of cups here is showing that you guys always have a good time going out, drinking, and partying, and all those things. Uh, for some, of course, it's not. But the three of cups is like you're wanting to reconcile. Mm -hmm. The three of cups is a card of like um reunion we call it so it's a celebration so nine of cups with the three of cups whoever you broke up with well here it is again okay back in each other's arms celebrating so this is something that you probably right now seeing is like oh yes that is so true sal it is so true ten of pentacles money could be involved finances seven of swords but if you guys are married then there is cheating involved seven of swords the chariot over here symbolizes someone who's trying to move forward, but with the emperor, you find like this connection has so much control within you. Okay. 
Let's talk about the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a long-term partnership, so this is not a person that just met today, a week ago. Not at all. The Seven of Swords is hidden. There is something hidden, uh, like hidden motive between uh, you and your person. So you have your own intention for wanting it, and they have their own. The two of you were not honest about this. Uh, what you're getting from this, you're not telling them that this is something that helps you. This is something that you feel that, you know, Seven of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles, it feels like, well, as long as I'm getting this, you know, I'm sorry, it's whatever, you know. You have the Chariot and the Emperor, if you see that. Okay, that's a Cancer and it's an Aries. Now, this is you. I feel like you're trying to manage it as much as you can. But I feel like there's a lot of um, things that you didn't know about this person. But you still like it. Okay? You still want it. Okay? Now, people who is like taking things like personal. So don't. You know, it's a reading. There's a lot of people watching here. Because some people be like, oh, you know, this and that. It's just like, calm down. It doesn't have your name. You know, you're not the only Sag in the world. Oh, yes. Okay. If, okay, so you can exit because the next word that I'm going to say is going to trigger you. You want to beg for this connection. See? Okay, so you can exit. It's not you. It's like, oh, no, don't beg. Then, you know, go to a different read. Five cups over here, you want. You take a time out, you want this person back. Five cups with a two of ones. A two of ones is like being patient. Two of pentacles, you can't let go. You broke up with them, can be, but then you realize it's like, oh, I want to be back with them. Mm hmm. Now, for the Sagis, this is also a workaholic devil with the Ten of Pentacles. So be careful if you are a workaholic. For someone who's manifesting great wealth, okay, Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles, a business entrepreneurial life. So if this is something that you feel like you are destined, okay, some people know it's like I'm an entrepreneur, I want to side hustle, I want to, you know, it's not even like that. I want to open my own clinic, I want to. Um, uh, how to say this? I want to have my own brand, apparel. You know, it's like I want to go into perfume. I'm seeing it candle making. Like you want to, you want to get into that uh, that destiny of yours. Now, how I work with destiny? Okay, one. Okay, I already told you about the piao. Okay, so facing away real gold. Um, destiny. Um, crystal would be the. If you guys can see, that is a black spinal. So I wear that when I was trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life. So always pair with the, the Piao with another one, okay, with another bracelet, okay? So, so that's how I would uh, pair it, okay? With the free class is in the description. I will update it also on how to find the pair, okay? The pair of the Piao. So Piao and then the other one, okay? So right now I'm doing a coral with citrine. So that's my pair. This is coral with citrine, okay? Depends on, the, on, on, the, on what I'm manifesting. Um, I tag the products at the corner of this video and we ship international. Our visit, uh, our website is eatreadlove.me. If you guys are wondering on like, uh, like about how our, um, you're going to see um, in the corner of this video, uh, like we be making hundreds a day. Oh, <laughs> hundreds a day. Yeah, shipping a day. Like crazy. So thank you very much. Here we go. Ten of coins. Long-term partnership. So it is definitely difficult for you right now to let go of this. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. They are they're wanting this. They're wanting this. But the Nine of Pentacles is a single life. So chances are your person either have given you mixed signal. Wants to be with you but doesn't want to work it. You know, oh, I'm fine. I'm like, I do things my way. It's not like a team player here. With the Ten of Pentacles... It is showing right now. There's like your person who wants to have, I don't know, like wants you and at the same time enjoys whatever time. And I don't know, like five of cups, you're asking your person, it's like, please change, please change, you know, because I'm trying to build this with you. So you can't be doing that. Well, right now they're saying here is like they're too busy to cater to your needs. King of Pentacles here. So focus on their career also. So this person has their um, plates full with regards to, okay, their time. Because Pentacles for me in time, is time. So it can be a Capricorn, okay. Ooh. Three of Wands can be a long distance relationship. And the Page of Wands, let me see here. King of Swords, Magician. Okay. Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um. The Three of Wands and the Page of Wands here 
chemistry is what they're relying on. Magician and King of Swords can be very much detached with you. They got a lot of things. And Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords, they, they considered also the separations. So I feel like the two of you agreed to that. Like, I don't have what it takes right now to be in a relationship. This is what your person is. Magician and the King of Swords, like, they are either going back to school, practicing a profession. Like, they have to focus, focus, focus. Magician with the King of Swords is that what that's what they're doing. Can be an Aquarian also. Can be a younger fire sign at the same time. So your person right now is is more of like, well, you know, because you have the death card, you have the ten of swords and the four of clubs. It's more of like they're single. Very much. Um, they thought about it, you know, but the ten of swords, the two of you can be toxic with each other with the devil. So they have removed themselves from the situation. Um, so they broke up with you because of this whole chemistry also. So the good outweighs the bad but now the bad outweighs the good coming from them because ten of swords is big betrayal i'm not sure what you did but the seven of swords if you hid something from your person then they broke up with you with the ten of swords you got me okay but this is a card because it's a card of betrayal again i'm not coming after any zodiac i just read the cards as how it is i'm not trying to please any zodiac here okay so and we're just looking at it from their side because the ten of swords is that they're calling you as you're the one who lied you're the one who betrayed them and that's why they're right now, they're distancing themselves to, from you. Okay. You have a page of swords, which means, oh, your person has been observing you also. Um, and thinking about you constantly. They cut uh, either, but this is also catching someone in a web of lies. But this can be something that they're hiding also from you. See, I told you, like, the two of you can be hiding secrets from each other. Yeah, the devil. So they can't let go also. Time and time again, your person think about it. Mm -hmm. But if you have the devil now. So this is like obsessive energy with regards to the two of you. For reals. Like desire is crazy. Unable to let go. But man, this is unhealthy. Okay. So as your person now can let go of you also. Now, here it, out. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see they're trying to change things. Ooh, this might This might get better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. there are some messages that your person will tell you about what their fears are, why they're why they're hiding right now, why they don't want to communicate. And I'm seeing it here. Oh, things are about to move fast, like might develop. Mm -hmm. So this is a Capricorn here. There's a Scorpio and what else? there's a fire sign, Aries, Capricorn, Aries, yeah. If you want to know more about this reading, link in the description box below for the extended reading. And like what I mentioned, if you are aligning yourself with your destiny, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Check out the Black Spinal. Pair it with the real gold piao. I will see you in extended. Follow me on Instagram at salviadora.